First carry for Nick Chubb. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Brought down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. To throw is Watson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Will Fuller, nobody there to stop him. And they do finally get him, but he takes it to the 25. First and 10. Things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us or their game plan, today, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 25-yard line. Chubb on the counter. Give him maybe a yard, quite the opposite from the previous big gainer. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Right there, 54, right there, right there, 54 Mike. Out of the gun, Watson. That went into the hands of his tailback, Samuels. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Samuels. Give him six on the play, and they're going to have a third down. And three. Terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. They'll run with Chubb. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, but of course you're going to give it to him. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Shotgun snap for Watson. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. That's Darius Leonard, the linebacker who got in and got him to the turf. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. What a stand this would be if they can get the stop here. Third and goal. From the gun, here's Watson. Fuller brings it in over the middle. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. A gain of 5, but not enough. Leads to a fourth and goal. Now to try the field goal, here's Daniel Carlson. 
from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. The kick by Carlson is good. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. Taylor and from the 25 they worked this to the 29 a gain of four he's tackled at the yeah, give him four yards there it'll be second and six the pickup second and six That one, a first down pickup of eight. First Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That's good for 28 yards. And a Colts first down. Here we go, here we go. Ready? Check 53. You, you, you. You, you, you. Mike, 53. 53. Mike, Mike. Watch the run, watch the run. 53. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. They'll find Paris Campbell. That's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 12 more yards there and another first down. First down, Colts. It. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on this first drive. Instead, second down. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Well, once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Again, it's Garoppolo. Flushed out right. And it's intercepted at the goal line. A great read, and it's picked off. And to the 12. That's where it stops. The return is halted at the 12 yard line. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up seven zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. After the interception, here's Watson. Throw left side complete. That's Fuller. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That one goes for 24 yards. 
So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back to throw, Watson. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. Now they, they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. A run for Nick Chubb. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go-around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson, they'll roll him out right. He's going to take off with it. He'll have a first down inside the ten. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. First down. First and goal at the six-yard line. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. Texans three, Colts nothing. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Chubb. And that'll get him halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three-yard line. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The lone man in the backfield here is Chubb on second and goal. They get it to him running left. And he's in for the score. Touchdown, Texans. Nick Chubb, touchdown number 18 on the year. And the Texans will extend their lead. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. come to the line ready to start their next drive and the interception last time on the opponent the receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch but in this situation the defense was effective able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going Taylor. 
Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative, but you know me, because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up, because otherwise this defense is just going to gang up on the run and shut them down. And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And going deep for Hill. It's caught inside the 25. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Nothing conservative about that play call. You said earlier in the quarter, you wanted to see them open things up, maybe take some shots downfield. There you go. Yeah, and that one was successful. But even if they're not successful, when you take those shots downfield, they've got to back off a little bit, loosen up a little bit on defense, and give you a little bit more room if you want to run the football. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. They'll run with Taylor. He's got the first down inside the 10. And down to the seven-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person that's on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. And that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching. And there was another first down run right there. They'll run here with Taylor. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Jonathan Taylor, touchdown number 15 of the year. And the Colts able to get this back with it, a touchdown. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. Makes the score Texans 10, Colts 7. Brandon McManus set to kick off. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And that last touchdown drive they had very balanced. How key is that balance? It's huge because most of the time when we talk about balance is run, pass, almost 50-50. But most of the times when you talk to offensive coaches, they say balance is we do what we want when we want to. And that means that they're ahead of the defense, keeping them on their heels. Now they impose their will on that last drive. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Faking the give, now Watson. He's got his man on the crossing route. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. 